story from the front side, so I thought I would share the view out back. Looks like uh, definitely unstable here in the back. So thought we would share that out with everybody. Hopefully our stream's coming through here. Looks like we got a pretty strong signal. Give me a shout out and let me know if it's coming through. Yeah, this is Masson, Ohio. We were out front a little bit ago live earlier on Lincoln Way. But they've, I guess the city has given them 48 hours to demolish. And that started, I think, a couple days ago. So they're prepping out front, but doesn't look like they're going to start doing any demo today. We'll go back out front here. Definitely a different scene from out front. So as you can see, they're moving some plate, steel plates around in front of the building and getting some machinery. Lined up. Got the sidewalks shut down on that side of the street. They do have an opening on the other side of the street for patrons to get into some of the buildings, but uh, I guess everybody on this side of the street has been ordered out. Yeah, they said they're only taking two down. The two, that, you know, right there, the one right in the center of the screen and then the one to the left, but that they gotta be careful because the buildings next to them might come down with them. 
so I'm not sure how much of a possibility that is or if it's just they're taking extra precautions but that's it that's the scene down here on Lincoln Way and Maslin as they're preparing to take these two buildings down demolition doesn't look like it's going to start today I think everybody's taken off that was out there working they were working on the awning when I was around front of this CJ Duncan looked like they were trying to protect that maybe gonna remove it so they can put it back up when it's done I'm not sure But share this out there if you're watching. Somebody might find it interesting that hadn't got a chance to see any of it. We'll stop back down in the next couple days here, maybe tomorrow, and see what's happening. If anybody sees or hears them start, reach out to me, either through Facebook or you can find our phone number on BuckeyeDrone.com. But we'll try to keep an eye out and see if we can't come back and show the demolition live. As it happens. I think one of the last demolitions that we had the opportunity to film was Turkey Foot Elementary on 619 in the Portage Lakes. We stopped there off and on for a couple days as they demolished the old grade school. A lot of people have a lot of memories there. And then before that was the Canal Fulton Elementary. Of course there was all kinds of memories from there I even had I think fourth grade there myself so and then we did Canton South the demolition of Canton South as they were doing that so that's it just thought we would share out with everybody one last time I wasn't gonna come back live but I come around back here and seen that uh, nobody was working back here anymore. And I thought it was a nice, safe time to come down and take some photos and videos of this. And just figured we'd share it out with you all at home. So, I think that's gonna do it. Actually, I'll take you up one more time here. Show you a quick view around Maslin. Hopefully our stream is coming through. All these buildings and uh, Wi-Fi devices sometimes makes it hard in cities as big as Maslin. There's the view looking down Lincoln Way.
Thank you, Linda. Appreciate that. Glad to hear it's coming through clear. Might have to go get the truck washed. I'm close. The sergeant's clean there. If you're looking for a place to get your car clean, I can't recommend them enough. Great people. Locations all over the place. One in Green, one here in Maslin, one in Medina, Strongsville. Makes it nice when you're traveling around to be able to go to all the different places. Unlimited for right around 24 bucks a month. Can't buy the soap and drag the hose out for that cost. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> There's looking back at the buildings and the other side of the street. Well, I think that's going to do it. A lot of people milling around, got their cell phones out taking pictures as I've been down here. I was going to go to the Chase Bank there and open an account and see if uh, the manager, looks like maybe the manager's office on the corner there, would let me set up a time-lapse camera for the duration. <laughs> but I didn't. All right, everybody, have a great evening. Whatever you do, be safe, stay warm, and we will see you in the sky next time. It's Cliff at Buckeye Drone signing off from Maslin, Ohio. I'm going to end the shot here right on the Maslin Justice Center. Peek around the corner here. I've got some beautiful photos of the Justice Center over the years. Might have to stop today and grab a snowy photo of the Justice Center. All right, everybody, have a great evening. We will see you next time. It's Cliff at Buckeye Drone.